Hello friends, welcome to my channel Electrical Master. This video I am going to explain about how to choose right size of water pump for our home or apartments. So please watch the video completely and you will understand this concept. If you are visiting my channel first time, please subscribe to our Electrical Master channel and click the bell icon. Motor pump sizing calculation. It's a very simple concept. I will explain this concept with this example. You can see this picture. This is a uh, this is a small house. Here uh, we want to fix the water tank in the top floor, and we will connect the motor pump from the ground floor to the top floor through the PVC pipe. And this example, they are given total pipe length between the pump to tank it will be 160 feet and they want the water requirement it's a 20 gpm per minute gpm means gallon per minute and if you convert it into liter it will be 75.8 lpm so this is the requirement and we need to here find proper size of the water pump for this requirement and moreover they given some uh, additional details the distance between motor pump and the water tank uh, delivery it will be 14 meter you can see this yellow line yellow arrow between the suction point to delivery point it will be 14 meter height and other given detail they are using the pvc pipe with the size range of 3 by 4 inch or 20 mm dia and here they are using the elbow seven numbers elbow you can see here this yellow uh, this uh, blue bending these all are elbow so total seven number of elbow they are using and total pipe length 160 feet and uh, q pump flow rate it will be 75.8 liter per minute or 20 gpm and the specific gravity of water it will be one so these are the given data they are given for calculating the pump size so now we will see how to calculate the pump size the pump size calculation is given by the formula hp equal to tdh into q into sg divided by 3960 constant mostly the water pumps are coming with the rating is hp or watts so hp they are given the formula hp we know it's generally horsepower and tdh means total dynamic head and q that is the water flow rate sg that is the specific gravity so from our example we have all the given data except tdh so we need to find what is tdh so tdh is the total dynamic head so total dynamic head we need to find there is the formula hv plus hf hv means vertical head that is the distance between the pump suction point to delivery point this hv also already they given in the example you can see here the so suction point to and delivery point it will be 14 meter so this point we have hv value we got it from that uh, given data and hf hf equal to frictional head loss this frictional head loss we have to use another formula hf equal to f into total pipe length plus f into valve equivalent length so f means frictional factor for this example frictional factor value equal to 0 0.027 we need to consider but this frictional factor is uh, varying from pipe uh, varying from the pipe size to size here we are using a 3 by 4 inch pipe so that's why the, the frictional factor value will be 0 0.027 suppose if we are using one inch pipe or two inch pipe means the frictional factor value it will be different but uh, this frictional factor i got it from the modi chart uh, another video i will explain how to we find this frictional factor from the modi chart it's a separate video i will uh, make and i will put it in the youtube okay fine so uh, now we know frictional factor and total pipe length also they given 167 only we need to find valve equivalent length 
ball equivalent length means very simple in our uh, example um, we are using some of uh, fittings like uh, valve uh, elbow uh, t joint like that in my example uh, i only consider the elbow 90 degree elbow only i consider so the total uh, valve equivalent length formula is whatever the fittings we are using the total number into coefficient so here only we are using that elbow so elbow total number of elbow that is given is a 7 and only we need to find what is the coefficient value see this table this the table will help to find the coefficient this right side they are given the fittings like t rent t branch 90 degree elbow 45 degree elbow wall and gate wall so those things they are given in our example only we are using 90 degree elbow so i choose the 90 degree elbow and the pipe size it will be in that top side 3 by 4 inch so both this 3 by 4 inch and 90 degree elbow will match the point is 2 so this is our coefficient similarly you can find all other fittings with that pipe size the coefficient will really easily you can get it that coefficient value you can put it in this formula total number of fittings into coefficient so total number of fitting it will be 7 into coefficient value 2 so the value equal to 14 feet that is the equal length of the pipe so now we we know all the values so we will put it in this formula so total dynamic head equal to hv plus hf hv equal to 14 meter, meter i already told it's converted into feet it will be 46 feet so hf equal to f into total pipe length plus f into wall vehicle and length so f value it will be 0 0.027 into pipe length 160 plus f f value 0 0.027 into wall vehicle and length we found 14 so if you add all this value you will be get to the final hf equal to 4.698 so total dynamic head tdh equal to hv plus hf hv is 46 feet plus hf value 4.69 so you will get the total dynamic head it will be 50.698 now we put it in the motor pump formula hp equal to tdh into q into sg divided by 3960 so hp equal to tdh we found 50.698 and q flow rate it will be 75.8 specific rate it will be 1 divided by 3960 so hp equal to 0.97 hp so this is our pump size so now we need to find actual pump size actual pump size if you want you have to divide that pump size divided by efficiency of the motor mostly in the efficiency of the motor it will come with a 0.8 so we divide that value with a 0.8 you will get the actual pump size of the, your requirement is 1.2 hp or if you are saying in the watts it will be 900 watts so the our example we need required pump size is 1.2 hp or 900 watt to deliver the 20 gpm of water at 160 feet distance in this way you can easily the proper size of your motor pump for your requirement if you are really like this video please give a thumbs up and please share this video to your friends and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you